Okay, my name is Janine Bonaparte. I'm from Sausalito, California, and I'm here in East Texas with these amazing people trying to stop the Keystone XL pipeline. I came in two days ago after some footage of some serious brutality against a young veteran and another woman activist and said I needed to be here and support them. This is literally the front lines of this fight to stop this pipeline from coming through. A lot of us are walk, working in Washington, but right here is the front line. It's the southern leg. They've begun clearing, and eminent domain is taking land out from underneath elders, and there is a handful of activists here. Numbers are growing, but they literally have the weight of this entire campaign on their shoulders. I'm here. I was on the site yesterday and experienced some brutality of my own. We unfortunately have a dilemma here where we have a lot of people on site there who are Trans-Canada walking around in very obscure uniforms. I had a man dressed in a Trans-Canada uniform who claimed to be a policeman and exerted a lot of physical pressure on me yesterday. And lots of bruising, take its toll on my shoulder. I had a little ER visit. But the point is, there was no identification. They had three different uniforms. None of them looked like police. None of them had identification. We don't know if we're dealing with law enforcement. So we don't know if we can defend ourselves or if we have to succumb when we're caught. It's just way too nebulous. We need to work this out legally as we go forward. But we're desperately inviting all activists to come down here, join this amazing fight with these amazing activists. We have Veterans for Peace here. I'm Code Pink. We have all of the righteous people here, and we're asking people to join us. Come on down.